Hey friends, if you are just tuning in, thank you for watching my YouTube channel and joining me in my Simply Cooking group. And if you're not in there, come on over and you can hang out with me live on Wednesdays. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my episodes of What Are We Cooking? So let's cook some low carb bread. I am so excited about this. I have mentioned it on my YouTube before, but I found some other ways to use it. So I wanted to share them with you. So we are going to be using the cauliflower thins as well as the pizza crust that you can get these from Trader Joe's. So I'll explain what's in them more, but I'm gonna get started really quick because I'm gonna show you guys three different ways that you can cook these because I know we have all different equipment at our homes and I want you to choose the option that's best for you. So I'm going to start with these cauliflower thins and you can see the size between these is quite, this is like quite different, right? Okay, so two of these have five grams of fat. So if you have two of these in your meal, this could be your fat for your, for your e-meal, or it could be for your fuel pool, right? So look at this. They're kind of floppy. If you've ever bought these, this is two. They're floppy. I'm showing you this so you can witness what's going to happen here. This is what they look like. Okay. Now I'm going to cook them a couple on the stove. We're going to also put a couple in the oven. And then we're gonna put a couple in the steamer because we can, and it's gonna be cool. All right, so I am going to spray my stove here. My stove, okay. This is, I put two in my skillet with avocado spray. I get this one from the Costco. Then, while those are going, I probably should have warmed my pan. Warm up your pan. I didn't do it. Oops. But I did warm up my oven. I put it on broil. So we're going to broil. Um, actually, let me put these in the steamer first because that makes sense. So this is my Epicure steamer that I love. I'm going to just put it on the trivet. So it's going to go on top. I am putting two in there. Two with the lid. No. Do I want the lid? No, I do not. I do not want the lid. No lid. Now, I'm going to cook those for two minutes and then check them. Two minutes. So that's two minutes. Now, the other one I'm going to put in the oven on broil. So I have my sheet pan liner because I don't like a mess. And then I'm going to Okay, I wanna show you guys, because they're so flimsy, I wanna show you, like this is super, I, it'll break. I wanna show you how flimsy they are. So these are same, I bought these at the same time, and these ones are like broken. But I'm gonna teach you something. Okay, they'll come out. Ah, oh, this is two of them. What a mess. See, look at this. They just break because they're so floppy because it's cauliflower, you guys. Cauliflower. So this is fine. Let me tell you why. These big ones have six grams of fat. So we are going to actually cut this into fours because it's going to help it cook faster because otherwise the center isn't going to cook as well. So I'm just going to cut that one up. It's already broken anyways. Ta-da. We're going to stick this in the oven on broil and we are going to, let's see. Okay, I put it in for three minutes, three minutes. That's it. Now, while that's going, I want to show you guys this. I wanna tell you what's in here because it's amazing and I want you guys to go get some of these. It is cauliflower, eggs, Parmesan cheese, deactivated yeast, and minced garlic, dried basil, and dried oregano. This one has a ton of flavor, a ton of flavor. 
This one is a little, this one does not have the basil or the oregano. So you might wanna add something like everything but the bagel or something like that if you're gonna make a sandwich out of these. So what, what can you have with it? Let's check these first. Okay, oh, they're starting to firm up. These are looking good, I'm gonna flip them over. I flipped them over. You want them, this is weird. You want them to look almost burnt, for real. I'm gonna put these in for, I'm gonna put one minute and then we're gonna check it. So this will be three minutes in here. That still has two minutes. We need to check these guys over here. I'm gonna grab my spatula. Let's see, I feel like this method takes the longest, but we'll see. This one crisp it like perfectly even in every spot. So it's kind of like how much time do you have and what resources do you have and which way works best for you. So this is such a great product because you could think the sky's the limit, you guys. You could do E, you could do S, you could do fuel pull with this, all depending on how much you use. So if you use one of these big ones, you're only going to use half if you're going to do a fuel pull because it's going to keep you in um, fuel pull territory. If you are going to do an E, same thing. Now, if you're going to have an S, you can add some fun things like, you could have regular cheese or light laughing cow cheese. That's what we're gonna do today. You could do for your hamburger buns. For your hamburger buns, you guys. Okay, so let's look. All right, here we go. I don't know if they're done. Oh, okay, just, I want you, are you witnessing this? It start, it's getting hard. I actually feel like for a sandwich, this is hard enough. But do you see it's kind of like burntish looking? It's so good. It's not gross. It's good. So uh, I think I'm going to leave it because I feel salt. That, this, was, this was three minutes in the microwave. Done. And you notice these. Uh, okay, so I don't have to babysit the oven. Yay. I, this one I've got to babysit. I'm probably burning it. Actually burning it. Nope. It's just slow. This is gonna take forever. Okay, now we're gonna check the oven. That's the oven. And while we let this one firm up for a second, you can always just leave them sit out. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, oops. Kitchen timer. I don't know how to turn my own timer off. I'm awesome. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm gonna flip these over. There, can you see how soft that still is? It's still soft. It's not done. I'm just showing you this because it's a time thing and we're all about simple, right? Still, doesn't matter which way you choose. It's gonna take less than 10 minutes to make all this. Back in the oven, three minutes. On broil again. So one, two, three, those are going. Yep, these are not done. They're probably gonna take the longest, I don't know. Okay. Can you see this? You can see that this is, if you want it more firm, just cook it a little bit longer, but this is good. So the nice thing is you can make your little pizzas. Now that this is hardened, you could make your little pizza. You can use this as your bun for your sandwich, for your hamburger. My friend Lisa suggested um, tuna melts. Tuna melts, that sounds good, right? What about grilled cheese? You make grilled cheese with it. You could do a low carb. Um, grilled cheese with just using light laughing cow cheese. You could do, what else could you, oh, BLTs. Who loves BLTs? I do, I love BLTs, so you could do that. And we're just gonna make, I'm gonna show you guys a little sandwich here. So, what do I have here? You guys caught the ingredients though, right? This is 100% on plan. There isn't th anything sketchy in it, nothing you have to worry about. So I'm going to slice up a tomato. I need a knife. We're still waiting on these. Let's see how this is going. I feel like this is getting better. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. It's starting. Can you guys, oh, you probably can't see it over here. I'll show it to you in a second. I want to keep it cooking. But it's starting to get a little black. Black is good in this case. In this case, it's good. I'm eating my hair. Don't eat your hair. It's gross. All right. Now, I don't like the center. Do you guys eat that part? I don't like it. Maybe I'm just, 
by myself on that one. I just totally cut it out. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a little tomato and we are going to make it on this one. So we're gonna make a little sandwich on here. Do you like how it went from super soft, breaking, breaking, uh, oh, this is, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, you guys got, <laughs> got the idea to, yeah, this is, this isn't gonna break. Nope. So here we go. Let's make this with a light laughing cow cheese. This one is the creamy Swiss. Now, I'm going to put this on. Ta-da. Don't eat the tin foil, guys. It's not good. It's not good. Ask me how I know. I've tried it. It's sort of like bad floss. It's really gross. Okay, so spread that on if you want. Throw some everything but the bagel seasoning on here because that is good if you like that. Um, gotta wipe my hands off. Okay, what am I showing y'all? Okay, we could add a slice of tomato. <gasps> the oven's done. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yes, excellent. Okay, this was six minutes in the oven. These should be done. Yeah, I think these are done. See how it looks a little burnt on the edges? That's fine. This is good. Now I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute because it's hot and they harden up as they sit. So let's check this. Oh, this is done. This is done. Okay, you can set them on a paper towel. You can just put them on a plate and let them harden. I'm just gonna throw them in my steamer because these are done also, I can tell. But I wanna show them to you guys. The stove we took the longest, you guys, for real. I like science experiments, how about you guys? See, you want them to look a little bit burnt. They're not, it's gonna be good. You see that? Whoa. Okay, finish our sandwich and then I will, I wanna show you one, one other thing, so bear with me. Okay, this is the turkey I'm using. This is my favorite. You've probably seen it before when I cook for you guys because I love it. It's from Costco. It's just slow roasted turkey breast, no nitrates, no junk, no fillers. That one I get at Costco. So I'm gonna just put a couple slices on here and then lettuce. I love the butter lettuce from Trader Joe's. It's my favorite. I'm gonna put that on. Ta-da! Here we go. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? It's so cute. It tastes good. These are amazing. Now, can you guys see how <laughs> I'm dropping my tomato everywhere? <laughs> I'm a professional, you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, can you see though? I'm like, this is firm, it's not, it's not breaking. That's what I like about this because this is it's like a hot mess right here. Okay, hold one second. You are gonna be excited about this, I promise. It's gonna be worth the wait. I already lost my towel. Okay, um, questions, what are they? What are they? Cauliflower thins, cauliflower thins, and the pizza ones. If you can find these, go get these ones, you guys. They taste amazing. Just the added oregano and basil. Okay, I wanna show you guys these ones because they're already cut up. I'm all over the place today, all over the place. Let's take a couple of these. Now, get ready. This is exciting. You can cut these up into strips. Can you see how firm this is already? Can you guys see that? So you just cut these up. Okay, look at this. Now, this is also from Trader Joe's. Jennifer, these are from Trader Joe's. This is also from Trader Joe's. Arabiata sauce. I probably pronounced that terribly. This is super clean. There's no secret junk in this. This one's okay for you to use. Now, I'm going to put it into a little jar. 
for dipping. Are you, are you vibing this yet? Here we go. Do you know what this is? Little, uh, like, what is that called? Cheesy bread. It's cheesy bread, you guys. And it's fuel pull. It's, it's so good. You can have cheesy bread back in your life. You are welcome. This is a, this is so good. I gotta eat some more for you guys. I'm gonna share a bite. You want some sauce too. Here you go. Okay. No, for real. Come over and we'll have some cheesy bread. I need a sandwich. That's it, you guys. Look how easy this is. So next time you buy these, firm them up first. I love these drive through suit options. Totally on plan. There's no junk. And you can make all the sandwiches. Have this as your bun. Here's my other one. This is the one from the stove. Have this as your bun for your hamburger, for your cheese, cheese, grilled cheese, your grilled cheese. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this gives you some other ideas of things to make. If this inspired you, please come back next Wednesday and we'll do another live in here. I think I'm going to show you guys my favorite okra smoothies because we could all use a little more okra in our life. So come back next week. I'll show you another tip, give you some tips. And if you're watching the replay from my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like and the bell and all the things. And I will connect with you guys again soon. All right. Have an awesome day, guys. We'll see ya.